I'm guessing some point in your career you've gone up, gone up against Joe Flacco before. Just now that he's in twine, quarterback starting for them. What is kind of consistent about his game, and what are you preparing for when you go up against him Sunday? Yeah, you know he's been in the league for a long time, so just a you know experienced vet. Um, he's seen it all. Um, you know he's going to be be able to try to you know read our coverages and stuff like that. Try to get a um, you know uh, the answers to the test before the ball snap and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, we, we gotta we gotta have a good plan in the back end, um, and, and and bring it on Sunday. Your evaluation of where you and Demar have been this year. You know, how would you say you guys have kind of meshed together, and what you guys have been able to do as a safety board together so far? This year? Yeah, you know, our our chemistry is continuing to grow. Um, you know, it's really dating back to last year. You know, we've we've gotten a lot of reps together, spent a lot of time together. Uh, going back to OTAs, going through the summer, going through training camp, going through um, really the first nine, ten games of the year, going on week ten here. So um, you know, excited to see the see the progress and the chemistry keep, continue to, to grow. What do you see when you watch the uh, Colts on film? Uh, yeah, you know they uh, very explosive offense. Um, you know, JT Jonathan Taylor. You know, played against him, got a lot of respect for him. Uh, all around back. You know, he can do everything. Um, you know, they like to take vertical shots, you know, um, you know, they got, they got a good receiving group core, um, and, um, you know, they, they can do a lot. They mix it up pretty well. So, um, you know, we got to have a good game plan bringing on Sunday. What is that like for you? What does that do for you as a player? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, Bobby always, uh, like you said on Wednesday, he he always sets the mindset of the week, mindset of the game, um, and, and kind of gets our our mind right. Um, really, every every defensive meeting, uh, he kind of gets our mind right. So, um, as a defensive unit, we I I personally love that. You know, when he, when he can set the uh, mind frame and the in the mindset of, of the week and and what we're gonna have to bring on Sunday. Why is that important? Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's important because. Uh, you know, by the time Sunday comes, you know where you have to be, where your mind has to be, um, and and really prepping through the whole week when we're going through walkthroughs, going through practices, going through different looks, watching film together, just knowing what our mind is aware of, seeing different looks, um, have to be aware of, um, and, and stuff like that. Taylor, you mentioned that they mix things up. They do a lot of personnel packages throughout the game. You guys mostly stay at nickel as opposed to like a lot of other teams that match. Uh, personnel for personnel. So, what challenges do they present when they mix it up as much as they do? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, like you said, you know, we we've kind of exclusively been a, been a nickel team. So, you know, I think we got the best nickel in the country with Taron Johnson. Um, you know, and he's able to throw it in there uh, in the box if he has to against bigger personnel. Um, and you know, that's a luxury we have that um, you know we have the best nickel in the country in in, in Taron. And um, you know, just Game plan to game plan, you know, just seeing what they can do, seeing the tendencies out of each personnel group and stuff like that, and just being able to match up really well against them.